On August 15, 1977, at Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope, astronomer Jerry R. Emmon spotted an astonishingly strong and narrow-band radio signal, originating from the Sagittarius constellation. This signal, was so remarkable that Emmon circled the printout of the data and wrote, wow, next to it, hence giving it the name it is now known by. What makes the WOW signal so extraordinary is its unusual characteristics. It lasted for a full 72 seconds, resembling a clear and distinct pattern that stood out against the background noise. Its frequency of 1420.4556 MHz happened to be very close to the frequency at which hydrogen emits radio waves, leading to speculation that it could be an intentional communication from an extraterrestrial civilization. Numerous attempts to detect the signal proved fruitless, leaving scientists perplexed. The WOW signal remains a unique event in the history of radio astronomy, sparking numerous theories and hypotheses about its origin. The WOW signal, till date, remains a mystery. So, where is everyone? The answer to this question remains one of the biggest mysteries that keeps up grounded, quite literally. Sure. We are aware of the grandness of the universe, or not, and common sense tells us that in the vastness of space, life, not single cellular, but intelligent, advanced and technologically capable, must surely exist somewhere. If life arose, transformed, struggled, adapted, and then survived here, surely it must have followed the same pattern in another world, unless, we are absolutely unique, and that, would be very egoistic to think so given our size in the grand scheme of things. But between knowing that life should exist somewhere else, to the haunting sound of the great silence, we tend to hit a road block every single time. This paradox also raises fundamental questions about the nature of life in this universe. Is the great silence proof that we are truly alone in this universe? Or, is there a great filter that is keeping civilizations from getting in touch with one another? Or, are we being silently watched from a distance? Or, is it the very vastness of space that keeps things in order, also makes it impossible to make contact? Well, a truly advanced civilization will find a way to beat the odds in an attempt to make the first contact. And it looks like we are in the brink of deciphering one such message that is hitting our planet continuously, puzzling scientists. Are we being contacted? Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. We're receiving a repeated signal from the middle of the Milky Way galaxy, and according to scientists, it could be a sign that aliens are trying to contact us. Most of the times however, when we tend to get a consistent detection of radio waves, it's usually something like a pulsar or rather than little green men trying to give us a call. But a new study has taken software developed to detect repetitive patterns of radio waves from space, and is using them to try and detect if any of the signals we're picking up, are something else. In particular, they're wanting to know if signals from the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way, could be from a community of alien life searching for intelligent creatures like ourselves. The researchers and their software can get through 1.5 million samples of data in half an hour making our ability to process all the signals reaching the Earth much quicker. The project is the Breakthrough Listen Investigation for Periodic Spectral Signals, and is headed up by Cornell University graduate student Akshay Suresh. Breakthrough Listen captures huge volumes of data, and Akshay's technique provides a new method to help us search that haystack for needles that could provide tantalizing evidence of advanced extraterrestrial life form. While the experts didn't pick up on the telltale signs of alien life the first time, they're going to keep looking for that elusive sign that the truth is out there. Humanity recently tested what it would be like to receive an alien communication by broadcasting a message from Mars and challenging people to decipher what it said. While we're picking up signals from the depths of space, we're also a pretty noisy planet ourselves with our own array of satellites and signals. It's not impossible that somewhere among the stars there's some alien creature picking up the messages we're sending out and trying to figure out what it is. Let's just hope we aren't annoying any space beings too much with our mixed signals. 
Earth has received an alien message from Mars and the public are being invited to decode it and find out what our extraterrestrial contacts are trying to tell us. The time travelers did warn us this would happen, and we've long pondered the possibility that there might be life on Mars after all. However, as you might have been able to tell by us sticking quote marks around the alien message, it's not actually aliens who are trying to ring us up for a chat. Nope, it's a test run that plain old humans are conducting, just in case ET decides to get in touch with us, where a spacecraft orbiting Mars has sent a signal to planet Earth. This message has been sent by the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, as part of their simulation of first contact with an alien species, so when the little green men do finally show up, we'll have the tea and biscuits ready. It's their project, a sign in space, a sort of intergalactic piece of global theater, which has sent an encoded message from space to our planet. Daniela De Paulus, the artist behind the project, explained why it would be so important to try something like this. She said, throughout history, humanity has searched for meaning in powerful and transformative phenomena. Receiving a message from an extraterrestrial civilization would be a profoundly transformational experience for all humankind. A sign in space offers the unprecedented opportunity to tangibly rehearse and prepare for this scenario through global collaboration, fostering an open-ended search for meaning across all cultures and disciplines. We received the transmission on May 24, and now it's available to the public to have a crack at decoding. The message was first sent out from European Space Agency's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, which is currently hanging around the Red Planet. It was then picked up by three radio astronomy observatories, the SETI Institute's Allen Telescope Array, California, the Robert C. Bird Green Bank Telescope, West Virginia, and the Medicina Radio Astronomical Station Observatory, Italy. Exactly what the message says is not clear and that's because, a sign in space, wants everyone to have a go, at deciphering the out-of-this-world transmission. Would you try it? And what do you think about these signals? Are these authentic extraterrestrial signals that we have been waiting for? Are there advanced civilizations in our galaxy waiting to get in touch with one another just like us? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore. Also, please become member of Lab360, if you like our videos. This would support us immensely and help us create more such content for you. Until next time.